Thank you very much for being back. One more time to watch another recipe here on my kitchen. On today's recipe, I'm gonna be showing you how to make a vanilla cake. Something very absolutely delicious. So if you wanna learn how to get it done, stay tuned, subscribe to my channel, leave your comment down below, hit the bell for notification, and don't forget, if you're new to this channel, to subscribe and share this video on any platform you will like. Let's not go lose any more time, let's get to the recipe. First thing that you are going to do is that you are gonna have two and a half cups of all-purpose flour, one teaspoon of baking powder, and a half a teaspoon of salt, and you're gonna mix all that together. For your wet ingredients, you are gonna put a one cup of unsalted butter, one and a half cup of granulated sugar, and you are gonna beat with that up with your hand mixer for three to five minutes. After that is completely mixed, and well incorporated, you're gonna add three large eggs. And you are gonna add these eggs one by one. You don't wanna put all that together. You wanna add it, mix it, add the next one, mix it again, and add it for a better consistency on the butter. Once you have the eggs all completely add now you want to put a little bit of vanilla that's gonna be that's gonna help I have a teaspoon of vanilla extract that's gonna help very much your butter now that you have your wet and dry ingredients ready what you are wanting to do is that you are wanting to start adding the dry ingredient to the wet ingredients but you are gonna do it slowly you want to do it cup by cup one cup of the all-purpose flour you mix once everything is mixed, you add a little bit of milk. Remember to um, have a glass of milk right there so you can be adding the milk as you need it. Remember, don't add all the pur purple flour together. Do it a cup by a cup. One cup, you mix. Another cup, you mix. So everything can be we well incorporated as you do it. Keep mixing until you find the consistency that you are looking for. And we almost have the consistency, that's what you are wanting to see. Not too dry, not too wet, perfect. Now that you're gonna put that aside and you're gonna get two bake cake pans. And I'm using two because I'm gonna have a double layer cake. If you're just doing one, you can just, you don't, you don't need two. So you're gonna put unsalted butter on the surface, all the way in the surface. And after you have all the surface, all the butter in, you wanna add a little bit of all purple flour. This is gonna help for your cake not to get stick to the pan once you cook. Now that you have the all purple flour in there, you're gonna rub it in. Make sure that all the this, this, this surface, it is well, all the way around, just like this. You wanna do the same with the next one. Once you have the two baked pans ready, um, to be put in the oven now you want to add the butter and you want to do half and half um you can use the scale to make sure you have the same amount of butter on each pan myself i'm doing it right now by eye but definitely you can use the scale if you feel comfortable more comfortable doing it like that make sure you spread that out spread the butter all the way in the, in the surface that is well spread Also, you want to be spreading that evenly because you don't want your cake to be bigger on one side, smaller on the other. This movement will help you do that right here. Now that we have the one pan ready, now I'm going to put the, use the next one. Spreading that out all evenly. Very good. 
and once we have this ready we're gonna put this on the oven for 28 to 35 minutes at a 350 degree depending on how hot your oven gets uh, make sure you check the cakes and you can use a toothpick to see if the cake is ready now while the cake is cooking you want to start working on the frosting and for the frosting you're going to use one and a half cups of unsalted butter four and a half cups of powdered sugar four tablespoons of vanilla extract and two tablespoons of heavy whipping cream and what you know how to do is you're going to get the one half cup of on salt the butter and you're gonna mix that together for five minutes after you have mixed that for five minutes with your hand mixer you are wanting to start adding the powdered sugar slowly you don't want to add it all at the same time just get a little spoon and start adding it slowly and mixing it so that way all the ingredients can get well incorporated once you have that add the vanilla, the salt, which I have a teaspoon of vanilla, a teaspoon of salt, and two teaspoons of heavy whipping cream, and I'm gonna mix all that together. Since I have my butter ready, my frosting is ready, now I'm taking out the cakes out of the oven, and I'm gonna cut the butter all the way around. And I'm gonna do that with both of the cakes. I think when you once you cut the butter, it gives that nice touch when you take a bite into the cake. Once you had the cake, and you once you cut the all the butters, now you want to start adding all. The icing and look at that. The frozen the icing that we made ready looks it has an amazing smell. I already tried it, it tastes absolutely delicious. An amazing recipe. Very easy to make, very cheap to make. You don't have to spend a lot of time doing it. It's very, 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 very convenient to try this recipe. Once you have all the cake, putting all the frozen, the, the icing on the cake, look at that, beautiful. You can decorate the cake with sprinkles, you can put anything you want in the cake. This is an amazing recipe, something that I would really recommend for you to try this at home. Now the cake is completely ready. We're gonna put it over here and we're gonna put a little bit of sprinkles. Look at that. Beautiful. Some sprinkles. And I'm also, I'm, I'm gonna add a little bit of chocolate on it. This is gonna give it a nice touch. More sprinkles. And right here. Look at that. You tell me that you don't want to take a bite of this amazing cake. This is completely incredible. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up to this video. Subscribe to my channel, leave your comment down below, hit the bell for notification, and don't forget to subscribe and share this video if you're new in my channel. Thank you very much for being here. Thank you very much for all the support. I will see you next time with another recipe, with another video here on my kitchen. Bye-bye.